<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Banzo. All right, um, new episode. If y'all don't know who the man on the left is, he is a legend in the series. First original trilogy, he was the detective that helped us out. He might look like an asshole. He might act like an asshole sometimes, but that's a real ass man. He came through in the first couple games. Shout out Inspector Chumley. Um, I think we were going to the yard. Is that what we were doing? Oh, we got the girl with us, and she's dressed up in something that doesn't look like medieval garb. This building is imposing. I'm glad she's speaking more, though. It's... Oh, she's uh, she's another classic from the Layton games. You might recognize her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, president of the fan club. Alright, either gotta join the fan club or solve the puzzle, so... Oh, jeez, maybe I should've fucking done the fan club. Okay. Um, I know you'll unlock it. A star of ten light, bright as fire, reveals my heart true desire. All my love, Clampy. Ten buttons? What the fuck? Guys, I gotta be honest. I might need a hint for this one, because this is... You know what? Let's just, let's just try to make like a shape out of them and, and see what happens. Like, would it make a ring or something? Like, would it make a wedding ring and that's his thing? Kind of a ring-like thing, you know, ooh, and then boom, boom. We're gonna try it. I, I feel like you gotta just go for it. Shit. This was quite the conundrum. Oh god. The world could do. It's like sucks. Damn. Yeah, let's get a hint. Oh, we gotta make a star. What the fuck? Alright, I'm still lost. I'm still lost. Guys, I gotta be honest, I have no fucking clue what this what this is trying to do. You would really, really that that's what you fucking wanted me to do. Mm, fuck you. That's what I say to that. That's just I don't like that one. I don't think that was a... Let's shed some light on this one. All right, you know what? Maybe I'm just blind. All right, who excellent. fucking knows? If I do say so myself. Yeah, I don't know how excellent that was. What the fuck? <laughs> that little guy popped out the box. What the hell? Why would the archives be off of limits? Yeah, Bloom was part of the Bloom was part of the fun case over in um, uh, Montador. All right, let's see if we can pull some pull some weight with Bloom. But I mean, first let's find some hint coins and see if there's any puzzles here. Easy, three in a row, bang, bang, bang. All right, Bloom, how you doing? Long time no see. Boy's got ten ties up on the wall. Alright, three hint coins down, my boy. Okay, nice. Shout out to Bloom. Bloom's coming through. You know, last game he came off as kind of a prick, but... Wait a second. Wait a second, Bloom was working with Tarjan. Dude, yeah, in the last game, wasn't there that cutscene? Um... There was the cutscene that he came into the room and they were trying to talk. Uh oh. I see the I see the shit coming. I see the shit storm. Hmm. All right, another puzzle. Let's see what we got. Hmm. 
<laughs> I like how you can see the person in the back. Alright, let me put a timer on really quick, because I gotta go to bed a little early, but I think I can wrap up this, um... I think I can wrap up London before we head out of here, so let's try to do that. Um... Two, one, two. I am so good at these fucking puzzles, man. I've got it, I think. Oh my god. If there was a draft for like the best puzzle solvers, I'm easy top three pick. It's like me and then Stephen Hawking and then maybe Einstein. Anyways, now that we're done with the puzzle, let's find the rest of these hit coins. Oh, there's a whole another section? You're crazy. Fifth time the museum's been robbed. That's crazy. Nah, I don't think... Mr. I like to wreck things with mechanical monsters and dress up as posh ladies to school. <laughs> now Chuck was rocking the shorts. The espadrilles and the man purse. Is that ever a good choice? Never. He's the worst. He might be the worst. <laughs> all right, Emmy. That's, you ain't need to do all that to it. <laughs> hey, if somebody said that about me, I'd be swinging. I'd be, I'd be yelling. All right, back to London we go, bro. Police have closed down the museum. There's a big scoop. Well, I will get to the poopity of the scoop, so we'll find that shit. Ooh, World Times. What is that? An article. Oh, okay, cool. So we get different articles from where we're at. To it, let's hit this museum, baby. Let's go. I need y'all to tell me what the fuck is going on in this museum right now. Oh, the mayor. Is he the mayor? Oh, that's his dad? Oh shit, Luke's dad's invest- Doctor? Wait a second. I- I'm telling you, I already know. I already know. They replaced him with decoys. Hey, shout out Luke's dad. Man, I can't think of the last time we saw Luke's mom and dad in a game. That's kind of insane. Alright, big old dinosaur bone. Alright, I can't find the third hint coin yet. I guess we'll just need to wait. Anticipate such risk. We do a background check. And there's five fucking robberies. What is this, the CVS in Oakland? What are you doing? I think y'all got decoys, man. If y'all didn't catch the thief, then how do you know you got the right shit? You know, I just gotta give Aurora some credit though, because if I was like a little alien that just popped out, I, you know, I don't think I'd be this chill. She just got to go shopping and now she's vibing, you know, so good for her. Alright, that makes sense why there wasn't three over there, because they split it up with two and two. It's 
part of the dig team that unearthed the artifacts, they asked me to take a look. That's what I'm... Man, who the fuck... Man, I could predict this whole game right now if I wanted. Alright, let's go put this shit back together. Wait a second, wait, wait, what am I missing? So notice that these two are both backwards. Does it say how many real or how many fake? Alright, I think I think this puzzle is that easy, so let's let's see if I'm smart. This was quite the conundrum. Oh, Look at the memo. Look above. Notice how the two and the zero are backwards. That's a bad backwards two, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you look above. That leads me to believe that we actually need the reverse of all these. So, is it just those two? That's That wouldn't be right. Come on. You know... I think this may be it. Man, fuck you. Y'all should have said there's two pieces. Gentlemanly pursuit. Here we go. We are doing it. Five artifacts were found on deeper digs, but always deeper than anything previously in the area. The artifacts were gifted by different donors, and they all certified genuine. None of the artifacts belong to any civilization. Yeah, okay, so it's all Azran. Sergeant. Sycamore. <laughs> Just call fucking Sycamore out in the middle of this. That'd be funny. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's a mole. Who's the fucking mole? Oh, they almost think I'm fucking stupid. Who's the mole? They must think I'm stupid. How difficult would it be copied? Well, yeah. How did they plant the fakes? Um, I don't think they were always fake. I think they used the investigation to try to sneak it back in. Yes. Uh, who do we know in the upper ranks of the police? Do you want to go to the yard? What do you think you're gonna walk in and say who's the mole? No, they're not gonna. Well, you know what? Maybe they will. I don't know. Layton. Layton's kind of got that that cachet. All right, back to the yard. Twenty-five puzzles? How many do I have? Twenty- <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! That's why y'all gotta find the fucking puzzles. Alright, Grosky, what do you know? Bloom himself. Interesting. How long has Bloom worked here? Uh, who else had access?
Bro, Leighton, you can't just walk into his office and arrest him. That is not a good plan. I don't know how I feel about this one. Where their agent fled to? Is it a slippery lot? Hmm. One of our own? Oh, do the thing. Do the thing where you point. This is no mere conjecture, detective. I am confident that I've positively identified the criminal in question. Well, in that case, I'm all ears. Please elaborate. The thief stole the artifacts and replaced them with fakes. He manipulated police information and disrupted the investigation. It must therefore have been someone in a position of power within the police who has been working undercover for Targent for some time. And that person, person is you. <laughs> There we go. Now this game is picking up, man. Alright, what proof do you have? I understand you were in charge of the museum, museum theft case? That is correct. To increase museum security, you restricted information concerning guardship patterns to just a few police. Hmm. And so if he gave out all the guard instructions... He managed to recover every single one of the stolen artifacts. I was shamed by my failure to protect them. I poured over every available resource. What did you do with the artifacts after they were found? I kept them here. Nobody else would have been able to replace the real artifacts with fake ones. How did you know the artifacts had been replaced with fakes? The fact that some of the recovered items were fake were only established an hour ago by myself and a few others. He said the detective on the case got all the objects back, how great the officers are. But he didn't know about the fakes. So how did Bloom know they were fakes? Interesting. Because you orchestrated the whole thing. Oh, he's gone. He's about to sprint. Oh, wow, that was a quick one. Dang. How do we know that man's not a fucking mole? You really think there's only one? Alright. I think... Whoa. Who are these guys? Shall I deal with Leighton? Now that they have bloomed, they'll think they've won. They love their guard. That's what I'm saying. Assign the assassins. Hey, don't pull out no assassins. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with somebody getting popped. Who's that? Oh, that's the Leighton's parents. Man, shout out having good parents that care. I gotta give my parents a lot of props. They let me do whatever the fuck I want, truthfully. Of course, the second my brother gets married, they're gonna look at me like I'm next, so I gotta be ready for that, but I got a lot of respect for them. Didn't you once set off on a trip to John O'Groats with nothing but a fishing rod and a pen knife? 
It's 40 years ago. I brought you some cherry fruit cake. Ah. Enjoy your trip. And do give your parents some news while you're away. Gotta do that. Oh, we see an egg. Yeah, we got like Fabergé looking things. So they've been uncovered and passed hand to hand. Alright, man. Rather par for the course. Yeah, we gotta just do it. We gotta just do it. Alright, man. Let's head out. And just like that, we are out of London. We are on to new, bigger, and better things. I want to thank you all for sticking around. And now we can finally get this game underway. Let's go. I uh, will see you all in the next one.